happy tuesday thank you for tuning in if this is the first time you're tuning into my page or the first time that you're hearing me i welcome you my name is Boalia desmond i'm a wife to one a mom of two boys and i'm on a mission to help families create and increase generational wealth because of what debt freedom has done for our family and i just believe that everybody should have choices so today i titled my message five money management tips for college students so we have a college student now, which is just incredible. Um, just um, very exciting to see him just change his mindset um, into thinking more of being independent versus being dependent upon us. So I just want to give you five money management tips for college students. Um, the first one, budget for everything, right? So now, even just in his language, he's talking about budgeting. He's talking about, you know, if I spend this much money, then I'll have this much money left for, for this and so forth. It's just so fun to be able to see that, you know what, now he's not um, relying on money to, just flowing to him. He's actually having to budget. So budget for everything. Know where your money's going. Know how much money you're starting with and then um, how much you got to spend in a certain week, in a certain day, so that at the, end of the, at the end of the month, you have money left over. So that's the whole goal. Number two, buying used school supplies, especially books, textbooks. And this, this advice was given to him by his um, coach, his basketball coach who said, hey, you know what, just buy the used books. Don't worry about, about spending money on new books unless you absolutely have to. So this was one of the things that he looked for right away when he went into the bookstore is to buy used books so, um, so that he could save some money. And I think he only had to spend like $35. So number three, automate your savings. So our son is talking about getting a job on campus and um, just being able to speak to them about having money go directly into their savings account and then some money going into into checking so that they have a savings so that they they automate that and they don't have to look at it and then make that decision for that money to go there and then number number four um get creative and find places you know find things that you can do for free when we were at his campus last weekend um the amount of activities that they have going on is just unbelievable I mean, they had things going on all the time and different kind of activities that you could get involved in, that you could you could meet new people and so forth. And um, it actually even prompted him to say, if I ever get bored around here, it's it would be my own choosing and it would be my own fault because they really think things out. They have so many activities planned that you can just do right on campus that can keep you going in the times that you have downtime. And then number five, eating on campus. like you know, finding a way to, to save your money so that you don't have to eat out. And um, one of the things that um, our son Victor said was that he was so impressed by the cafeteria food, that they actually have real food, he said. So they have, um, they have tons of choices, so many different options for different foods, whether you're vegetarian, whether you're vegan, whether you eat meat, or don't eat meat, you know, it didn't matter. There's there's something for every single student to be able to indulge in and so that got him excited into thinking hey you know what i am going to eat more on campus now i don't have to worry about spending money um and outside of campus to eat out unnecessarily every once in a while it's great but he understands that the options for him eating on campus are great and that he will find plenty of food to eat there so again those were five money management um, tips for college students, number one, budgeting for everything. Number two, um, buying used school textbooks. Number um, three, automating his savings. Number four, getting um, getting creative about finding things that you can do on campus for free. And then um, eating on campus versus going out to eat. And so um, parents, if you're looking for a way to help your kids save money on utilities, like some of your kids are, are living off campus, and most kids now are paying for their own cell phone bills. So if you're looking for a tool that can help you save some money, that can help you negotiate some of the bills that, you, that your kids are already paying utilities, let me know because we have a great um, free tool that I can help you with, that I can send to you, and you can um, see if it can negotiate some bills for you. So I thank you for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow.